Hello, my name's Alan Hayward and I'm the director of Fastiniac Travel. Um, some of you already know me and to those people I'll say it's nice to be talking to you again even if it's in rather unusual circumstances. Uh, for those who don't know me, um, I'd like to take just a, a few minutes to tell you a little bit about Fastiniac Travel, who we are, why we do things and so on. Um, it all started back in 1974. Um, at that time I was the traffic manager with the Fastiniac Narrow Gauge Railway in North Wales. Um, and uh, one of the uh, things I uh, used to get involved with as part of the uh, part of the job was the operation of the booking offices, um, as well as the operation of the trains. And I used to see uh, lots of people going through the lovely Snowdonia scenery through the mountains, enjoying the narrow gauge train and uh, generally enjoying the, the scenery of the National Park. Um, and what um, isn't generally known is that at that time, as well as operating our own trains, we also sold rail tickets uh, throughout the UK and also um, throughout Europe. Um, and it occurred to me, looking at the people enjoying themselves in on our railway that uh, maybe the same people could also enjoy themselves by riding the narrow gauge trains elsewhere in the world or even standard gauge trains elsewhere in the world any sort of trains maybe um i was thinking particularly at the time of Switzerland, because Switzerland has plenty of narrow gauge railways, it also has plenty of high mountains, and and I thought, well, if you can enjoy Snowdonia, then almost certainly you can enjoy Switzerland. So um, a few colleagues and myself got together and we devised a, uh, a tour to Switzerland, which actually ran in the October of 1974, and at that point, Festinio Travel was born. We've gradually expanded um, our uh, tours to uh, include many, many places in the world. In fact, we go all over the world now, both long and short, all uh, in the UK and in Europe. Um, and I think probably the the common theme on all our holidays is that there must be some rail element but of course we do uh, all sorts of things other than rail we try to make the tours uh, of general interest as well as railway interest and and we subsequently expanded to well we started with switzerland as you know uh, then we went to norway to germany to austria then to Canada and the USA, to the Far East, to India, to Australia, South Africa. Um, in fact, there's almost nowhere that, that's got a, a railway that we haven't been at some stage. Um, now, uh, we're still a very small company. Um, that's one of the things that we... Um, that we pride ourselves in because um, um, we don't take very big groups. Uh, we try to keep it personal. We try to make sure that the customers that go on our holidays uh, also become our friends. Um, most of our tours have less than 20 people on them. Some have only 10 or a dozen. Um, and by keeping it small that way, we can also keep it friendly and we can uh, also tailor make a lot of our tours to exactly what people want to get out of them. And um, so our, our program is, well, this year would have been, would have been 42 scheduled departures. Um, and 
of those 42 scheduled departures, 19 that would have run between April and July have already been cancelled. Um, and the people who had booked for those tours have had all their money refunded. And um, we uh, believe that, uh, we hope anyway, that those people will want to come back and join us again when uh, our tours are up and running and the world is once again open. Um, we don't yet know how long this will be, but we hope that it won't be too long. And uh, so because of the downturn, uh, we've had to furlough about half our staff. Um, the remaining staff are very busy at the moment planning our 2021 programme. And this will include most of those tours, which unfortunately we've had to cancel this year. So as I said before, I hope that people who have been disappointed this year will come back to us again and rebook as soon as we're able to take the new bookings. Um, we produce every year what we call a, a pre-brochure um, in May. And this that's a, a kind of um, a summary of what we intend to do the following year. And this year will be no exception. So if you want to keep in touch with us and want to know what we're doing and you're not already on our mailing list, then please do contact us and we'll be very glad to keep in touch with you. Um, you can do it by email to info at Festiniog Travel, that's double F-E-S-T-I-N-I-O-G, travel, or one word, dot co dot UK. And we'll also, of course, post information on our website at www.festiniogtravel.com. So keep in touch with us that way if you'd like to. We'd certainly hope that you will. And so uh, there'll be a full brochure, of course, out in August as usual. And we do hope to run a, a full programme in 2021. Um, so for the moment, anyway, um, I'd like to thank you for the support that you've given us over the many years now since 1974. Uh, we hope that you will keep in touch. We certainly want to keep in touch with you, and, and uh, we hope that we will. Uh, thanks again for listening and for watching, and uh, take care of yourselves, um, and we'll keep in touch. Bye for now. Bye.